Hello, my name is Edson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and in this video I'll be talking about some performance implications in a .NET Duke website. Now, this is the first video of a series of performance related videos that I'll be posting in the next few, few weeks. So the, the first aspect uh, that I usually look at a, a .NET Duke site that is running slow is the modules that are being used in that website. And if all those modules that are installed are really, really being used, being applied to pages. So here's what I want to, I want to do. I want to log in. This is a, this is a fresh instance of .NET Nook 550. And I'm going to log into the backend as host, as super, super account. And Again, nothing here was installed yet. So this is a fresh install. So if I go to host and module definitions, what I'll be seeing here is all those modules were installed by default from, from uh, the .NET installation process itself. So most of those elements, most of those modules are really required to run .NET Hook properly. But some elements we can we can actually remove them because they will not be used. Uh, they they might be used, but they may not be used at all in your in your website. So, for instance, if um, actually actually if I go under host and actually I go under extensions, here in their extensions, the first thing that I that we can actually remove unless you are using them. But if you are using the default authentication of .NET NUC, which is this one, of course you should keep it. And actually there's no, not even an option to remove it. But if you are, again, if you're using the default, you can actually get rid of those authentication systems. One is called DNN Live ID and the other one is called DNN Open ID. So again, the more we can remove from the default installation, the default uh, deployment of, of .NET Hook, the at the end of the day, that will be that will impact in the performance as well. So I can I can remove Life ID safely again unless I'm using it because if I'm using, I know for sure that I'm using because this is not the default authentication. So I can delete those files and uninstall the package. I can return. I can do the same thing. It's it's restarting the site because uh, most likely a DLL was removed from the bin folder. And again, that's the other reason why we need to keep the the dot that took instance, the dot that took install as slim as possible in terms of modules that are that are installed. Because the more modules we have installed, the more uh, DLLs will be included in the bin folder. And whenever the site restarts, it takes more time because there are more DLLs to be to be reprocessed. So we are back here into the extensions page. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna also remove the open ID. Again, I'm not using open ID, I'm using the default registration, so I can remove this safely as well. One more one more last thing that uh, this DNA installation will have. So let's click return. So those two elements were the ones that I have removed from authentication system. Now, under under modules, you may also think that uh, that we may have some modules there added by default by the .NET installation that we may not need them. To be honest, in a, in a default .NET installation, the modules that come with .NET Nook, they're quite the very, very basic ones. And, and some that are not the very basic ones. I mean, they are, they are system modules. So they should not be touched. Actually, if, if you look at the list of modules, you're going to be able to see in .NET Hook 5, you're going to be able to see a column that says in use, you see, and then there are some modules that are no, but even those modules, again, I'm talking about a, a fresh new installation of .NET Hook 5.5, even the modules that are not being used by default, from that came within the installation, I would not remove them. I'll just keep them because in any case, there are not that many. See, there's authentication banners, feed explorer. What else we have no here? Search input. 
well, this is the module version of the search input that is embedded into the skin of minimal exropy. And the other one is solutions, browse additional solutions for your application. Again, I will not touch those, but here's what is important. If your site is not a fresh installation of DNN, or even if it's an older version of DNN, you may have accumulated over time modes that you may have tried. You may have installed just to see if they work or if they don't work, and you may have left them there. So it's really important to evaluate if the modes that are set as no, and again, I'm talking about uh, modes that you have installed, if those modules can really be removed because if you if they are not in use at all and you have added them, most likely you should be able to remove them safely. So by removing the modes that are not being used or even that they are being used in, in, in hidden pages or, or temporary pages, and actually you can see them very easily. Let's say just for the sake of example, let's pick here console. And if we click on yes, it will actually tell us which pages are using that module, I can select host level. And again, those are host level uh, menus that do use this module, but I can also select my website, which is my portal. And under here, it would show me all the pages in my portal that are using that module. Then I can go to that page and I can investigate, investigate what that page is. It may be again, hidden page, a temporary page. I just use that uh, just to, to try the module, but I never really put it live. So again, try to keep your .NET token installation, the set of modules in your .NET installation is slim, as slim as possible, because uh, if, if we have modules there that are not being used, better you just get rid of them. Now, from I think from the NN5, we start to see this column called in use in the, and I, actually you can even go back to the host module definitions. So under more definitions as well, you can see the in-use column here, but previous versions of .NET Nook, they don't have that column. So it's, it's hard to find out which modules are actually being used in a site or not. You'll never know. You'll never know for sure if they are being used or not, but I do have a little script. I do have a script that I'm going to post in the video post that you can run under host SQL. And the script will tell me, will list all the modules that are in use in my in, in your in my website in my .NET website. So here's a script. I'm just gonna run this, and the sorry, I should not check this. Execute, and what it does, it brings the name of the module and how many times, how many modules, how many instances of that module are being used in the website. It's, it doesn't tell you really which pages that module is coming from, but again, it's, this is just giving you a summary of what is in use throughout the site. So you can actually cross if you can actually cross reference this list with the list of modules installed in your site, and then you can see what can you remove. Now, if you're not sure if a module is in use or not, some modules, they are in use by other modules but they don't show up as being used. So you have to be careful when removing modules. Actually, before, very important, very, very important, before you remove any module, you should have a backup of your site files and database. You should make sure that you either have them in your hands or you ask your hosting provider to, to set aside a, a backup just in case something goes wrong because removing modules can be very tricky, can they things can go wrong by just removing modules, so you should have a backup. Anyway, this is just to give an idea of what type what type of uh, uh, things that you can look out in terms of uh, things that impact performance on your .NET Nook website. And again, keep your site slick, keep your, keep your site slim, and just keep modules only modules that are really used in your website try to remove the other ones. This is it for now in terms of performance tips. I will be carrying a series of performance tips over, over the next few, few weeks. Okay, thank you very much. Bye for now.